And with the job market improving, the fight for a $15 minimum wage is continuing. Michigan is one of 26 states that has a higher minimum wage than the federal mandate of $7.25 an hour. The states are highlighted in dark blue on the map on your screen. Let's bring in Paula Tubman. She joins us live from a McDonald's in Washington Township where the wage just jumped more than $3 an hour. The question is, Paula, how long will that wage last? Yeah, and that's a very important question. So first of all, let me show you what the sign said really for quite a few weeks and just in the last three or four days or so, the sign now says hiring up to $15 an hour. And with that fight for 15, fight that's been going on for years, you wonder, is it over? How long this is gonna last or whether or not this is really just temporary? The protests and walkouts have become commonplace in the last several years as the grassroots movement Fight for 15 grew. We work, we swear. We're at 9.65 per hour, but the writing is now on the wall, the buildings, the signs, and the marquees. With the current shortage in labor, it's a workers' market, with wages now starting at 15, 16, and even $17 per hour with added bonuses and perks. This week, we took a drastic increase, uh, minimum wage, hourly wage, along with salary. And when I say drastic, um, ex extensive. Marsha Ribadu is the operations manager for a string of Arby's. A month ago, she was working for 100 employees. Today, she is looking for 200. However, she can't guarantee how long her starting wages will stay at this level. We're trying to get staff and uh, get our restaurants back to being open and get off of these limited hours and closed on weekends. And But I believe it's a window. It's hard to say what late August and September will bring, with the changes fall brings with children back in school, parents re-entering the job market, as well as the extended unemployment benefits beginning to dwindle. Right now, it's a worker's feast. Mike Minarchik, who owns a string of McDonald's in Macomb County, believes, however, up to $15 per hour is his new normal moving forward. I'm a believer in the free market and the way economics work, and this is really... Uh, we're getting there. We, we need it. This is um, a business decision to stay open. We're willing to pay it. Uh, I think it's a fair wage for the demanding job and especially the hours we need it. Like I said, more of those nights and weekend hours. Don Grimes, an economics researcher for the University of Michigan, says should someone um, take a job now, even if that job uh, uh, paid the same or even a little less than the uh, unemployment benefits that they could collect? And the answer to that is yes. Whether the current higher service industry and entry level manufacturing wages in Michigan are a sea change or a blip on the radar, there are more reasons to take the jobs now than later. Secondly, um, you can get the uh, uh, seniority benefits, which uh, in the future will translate into uh, promotion activity, uh, less of a likelihood of, of layoffs. So there's a lot of benefits to having higher seniority, even seniority of a couple months. Yeah, okay, for 15 organizations sent me a note today saying that they are still planning strikes for next week on the 20th in Detroit, Flint, and other cities. And you might say, why, why? It, doesn't this mean that you've won the battle? The response that they gave me late this afternoon was that they will continue the fight until this is permanent, until basically this is for every single worker not what they believe is an aberration. And so expect $15 an hour and negotiated benefits. Karen? All right, Paula Tubman reporting live from Washington Township. An important recall alert in this summer heat. Some